Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have something pretty interesting for you. Uh, we're, we wanted to jump out of the box and do something different, so we went to Walmart, yes, Walmart, and bought a pair of Chucka boots. And uh, today we're going to give them a makeover. That's right. We're trying to see what we can do with this pair of boots because it's not the best construction. Uh, yeah. I don't even think it's real leather. Um, <laughs> pretty cheap. Yeah. And so we just want to see what can we do with these things. Yeah. But before we go to the shop and get started on these chucka boots, do us a big favor and give us a big thumbs up. Yes. Right now. Just click down real quick, hit the thumbs up, and then we will proceed. All right. So Trent and I made a little trip this morning to our local Walmart. And we've got a pair of George. I am actually not familiar with this brand. They cost uh, $27.92. And we're just going to say, can we turn something like this, which isn't very high quality, into something a little bit better? So that's what we're going to do today. If I were a betting man, which I'm not, but I were going to put a little bunny on the pony's nose, I'd guess that these were all cement constructed. And you know what? You're right. They are. It's got a rubberish, crepeish. It looks like a, a plantation crepe, but it's actually not that spongy like you would get on like a, you know, a wallaby, uh, desert boot type of shoe. But um, it is pretty thick and looks like it would give you some comfort. But uh, the construction on these is just not the best. So that's why we're here today. Let's see if we can get this off without butchering the shoe. Now when I cut this thing, I actually have to kind of tilt upwards because what I don't want to do, I don't know how what type of construction I'm going to try to do with these yet. And since the leather on the upper is just folded under, I don't want to take a chance of going and cutting off any leather that I could possibly use. So I have to kind of cut up and then we'll just have to work our way down. Metal shank, a uh, synthetic thermo plasticky type uh, insole. We're gonna have to do something better than that. This stuff is literally just like melted. Um, this is not even real leather for the upper. It's, uh, it's like a fabric that's then been coated in something. Man-made upper, uh, fabric lining, and the balance is man-made. So that's what we're working with. This is why you don't want to resell a lot of cement constructed shoes because they just rip. So we gotta be very careful here.
right, we are fixing to address the insole and see how we can build this and choose which pattern and then, uh, should we say what construction method we're gonna use. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and give a shout out to today's video sponsor, HelloFresh. So a while back, HelloFresh reached out to Heath and I and said, hey, we would like to sponsor one of y'all's videos. Would you like to give us a try? Well, I had heard of HelloFresh, but I, don't, I didn't think I had used their food before. So I went home, told my wife, hey, HelloFresh wants to sponsor a video. And unbeknownst to me, she said, I've been using HelloFresh for quite a while now. Well, my wife makes amazing food, and if she's using HelloFresh, then guys, you have to as well. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to really help you break out of that recipe rut that so many of us fall into. And also, HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any of the other meal kits that you see out there. So, you know, you know you're getting something really delicious. And one of the big things that my wife and I like about HelloFresh is that it, it really just helps you to save on time. Um, you know, from the, the stressful meal planning throughout the week and the prepping that you have to do each night to get the, the food ready, HelloFresh cuts all of that out by helping set everything up for you. And in most cases, you're able to get dinners on the table in just about 30 minutes. And in some cases, even 20 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. Also, it's sustainable. You know, HelloFresh's pre-portion ingredients really means that there's less prep for you and less wasted food. And I know that's a big problem with us, having the kids and our family. There's always so much wasted food and HelloFresh really helps to cut that out. Also, one of the things that we like about HelloFresh is that it's very flexible to our lifestyle. So, you know, if we start piling up on food one week and we don't need any more the following, it, it's easy just to change up your delivery days or your food preferences. And that way you're also able to skip a week whenever you need. You know, that's, that's always a big one with us. And the last thing that's really cool about HelloFresh is that they're also committed to giving back. And, you know, that's always big with us. Um, you know, HelloFresh has donated over 4 million meals to charity in just 2020 alone. And they're continuing to step up their food donations even amongst the whole coronavirus crisis. So, you know, it's really a great company that's giving back to everyone and I highly recommend that you look into it. Okay guys, so after this video, make sure you go to hellofresh.com and use my code Trenton and Heath 12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. All right, I cut this slot in here because the original had a slot for this fiberboard, leatherboard stuff uh, that actually has the shank adhered to it and it goes on top. Now this actually has a foam insole, uh, like a sock liner. So uh, we're gonna keep that on there anyways because it has the logo and, and yeah, it's memory foam. So that will go on top. And I've seen some shoes, uh, Italian made shoes, some well-known brands. I won't throw them out there. You've probably seen us do some that use the same construction on this portion. We'll just go ahead and keep this. All right, so we are going to attempt something. If you can't tell, we are putting on a gimming on this. This is pre-made gimming. Um, we were finally able to get our hands on some new one. Uh, we had run out of stock and you know, everything that's going on right now, everything's running slow. And uh, it sure beats having to make your own. So what do we use a gimmick for? Well, it's for a Goodyear welt process. So yes, we are gonna attempt to turn this shoe into a Goodyear welted shoe. Let's see how it turns out.
All right, so all of this extra leather that's up here, this is what a Blake stitch shoe or a cement constructed shoe would normally look like. Uh, it's just folded up underneath, glued down, and then kind of sand, you can see where it's been sanded down to try to flatten it out as much as possible. That's why there's not a cavity normally because it's just lays kind of flush and then they glue another sole on and there's no cork. But when you create a rib, all this has to go off. So if you've ever watched on one of our shoes that we've done a good year welted uh, shoes, it's actually trimmed all the way up to the welt. So that's what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut all this extra off and it'll start to look a little bit more familiar with a good year welted shoe. There you go, trimmed all the way up to the edge. Now it's a clean cavity, we can actually cut this off. That is the toe reinforcement for stitching. Fill it with cork, and now we've got a Goodyear welted based shoe. So the welts are on and now we're gonna put the cork in. Again, guys, I'm so, so sorry. I know you guys like the hot cork, I do too. It's a lot more fun to play around with, but time is of the essence today. And again, we're just gonna use some sheet cork. So I've already put some glue in here. I'm gonna get the sheet cork in and then we'll be able to get the soles on. It's just a lot quicker. It doesn't have to set up and cure as long as the hot cork. But I promise, I'll catch you next time. So these are some JR, JR Off-Road. Um, we just got these in not long ago, and I know you think probably think we're crazy putting JRs on this, but I figure, you know, go big or go home, right? And um, this would be a good opportunity to put these in. So if you want some of these, we do have them.
All right, so we've wrapped up this little feat and we, we were able to do it. We were able to turn this pair of Walmart uh, cement constructed, not even real leather shoes yeah. into a Goodyear welted shoe, which actually I think looks pretty darn good. I, I was quite impressed with them. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a $27 shoe from Walmart and I was actually shocked. I, I was didn't know if we could go the distance, but uh, we did. I think we put more into supplies than we did to the actual shoes. Oh, hands down. But hey, disclaimer right here. This was for entertainment purposes only. Don't get mad at us, but yeah. also don't send us these shoes or emails because if you if you do, we're probably just gonna like not read your email. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. But hey, another quick thing too, guys, uh, before you go, we are going to auction these shoes off. And I know you're asking yourself, why in the world would I even want to buy these? Well, because it was a feat. We did it. Yeah. And, and it's a cool shoe to have. Yeah, it is. And, and whether you, you pay $5 at the auction or, or whatever, all of the money for this pair of shoes is going to go to St. Jude's Hospital, uh, Children's Research Hospital here in Memphis, Tennessee. It's near and dear to our hearts and we love this organization. So, uh, that's what the money is going to be going. 100% of the proceeds that, that come from this auction will be going straight to them. Yep. And, and, uh, on, and I'll on the put, tag. yep, so it's going to be on eBay. Yep. And I will put the link down to the eBay auction down below in the description box. But anyways, guys, quick reminder, go to southernpolish.com. Check out our men's and women's flip-flops and sandals. If you want to buy shoe products, which you guys need to be taking care of your shoes, mm -hmm. check out potterandsons.com. And also, just one last thing, remember, check out HelloFresh down below and uh, definitely check out their meals. They are amazing. All right, Trent, what do we do? Okay, so these, again, were a cement constructed shoe. So there was no true welt, uh, there was no cavity, everything was just glued. So we had, yeah, so we had to cut all of that off. The maestro here put on new gimming, well, not new gimming, he put gimming on there. Uh, he, we put new the insoles. Uh, yeah, new insoles. We also put a, uh, uh, a, uh, a split reverse welt. Thank you. Yes, there we a go. split reverse welt on there and filled them in with cork. Uh, we put JR soles on there with that the tread on it. I the think JR really cool. off-road. Those that, are pretty cool. Yeah. They're new. So Yeah, so if you're interested in those, they're down on our website. And then we put um, JR combo hills on there. You know, we didn't do anything to uppers because they're brand new. Not a lot you can do to those. And uh, that was just about it. But I think it's pretty cool that we yeah. took just a cheap $27 shoe and made it into a pretty decent shoe. So, all right. Till next time, y'all have a good one.